Is, is this a constant change on volume? No, no. This is what kind of change? Varying. This is varying change. Now, a little bit more specific than that, if I'm raising something to the third power, it's cubic. This is a cubic function. My paper's not very neat right here for looking at this, but what if I try this addition trick? What do I get? What's the difference from one to eight? Seven, that's plus seven. How about from eight to 27? Plus 19. From 27 to 64? Let's see, 14 minus seven is seven. 37. How about 64 to 125? Thank you. I didn't have to think that hard then. All right, what about the difference? Is, is it second common difference? What's the difference from seven to 19? 12. How about 19 to 37? 18. At 37 is 61. 24? I think you're right. Yes. Now, what about 12 to 18? 6. 18 to 24? 6. I really haven't looked at enough numbers to be able to say, oh, look, it's plus 6, but class, we're, we have a short time today, so I'm going to kind of leave it at that. But I probably should have put a couple of more numbers in my table. It looks like when I get to the third level, if I call this level one, this is level two, this is level three. When I get to the third level, I end up with the same number. This is third common difference. Or common third difference. This is, um, and in fact, the equation is y equals x cubed, or f of n equals n cubed. Okay, so I'm going to go to my graph and put this up there. <laughs>